Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show and you're just in time. It is Monday and we are continuing our conversation around relationships. Mm -hmm. And as we explore the issue of loneliness during the festive season today, we're asking, are you spending the holidays away from your loved ones this year? And we're back with clinical psychologist Asha Dulab to unpack this topic. So do weigh in with your questions on our social media pages and uh, we'll definitely find time to engage with it because it's an important conversation to have. It is and we want to hear your thoughts on it and Asha I want to ask you loneliness is not a new thing the pandemic didn't bring that about I think it's just now finally putting the spotlight on it mm. in terms of social media what impact does being on social media during a time like this especially when you feel lonely have on an individual sure if we go into social media during Christmas festive season we're gonna see lots of joyful pictures I mean people always put out their best on social media mm. so it's the lovely gatherings it's the beach it's the families together which doesn't help anyone that's feeling lonely mm. so loneliness is a state of the mind so we need to really uh, watch our thoughts and police our thoughts mm. and look and question you know we, we, we very often can go into what are we lacking in life and that can make us feel more lonely. And social media, media can aid in that. Oh, I'm lacking in that love. I'm lacking in that peace. I'm lacking in this festive mood. Um, and that will just leave people feeling even more lonely. Yeah. And depressed. And I mean, at the end of the day, we need to be very honest with ourselves as well and recognized, recognize that this platform is a platform that allows people to choose and pick certain things that they want to share on social media about their lives. And we don't know what they are feeling emotionally. Oh, yes. So that sense of honesty with yourself is also very important, um, particularly because of the travel restrictions right now that are imposed on us um, because of health reasons, putting our family members at risk for those people who've decided not to go home because of this how can they stay the course during the holidays so let's use the technology to um, connect with our family members let's mm. have video calls let's have zoom chats let's cook together put up the computer and try out a new recipe mm. I mean grandparents can play games with their grandchildren on mm. on the, the zoom um, sessions yes. they can um, have fun, laugh, make jokes, play some riddles. And just like earlier on, we were listening to um, Jared sing so beautifully, engage in music. It is beautiful just to laugh, engage and sing, sing, mm. sing together, uh, make jokes, connect with nature mm. if possible. I know it's not part of, if we can just get out, get some fresh air, put our feet on the ground, it really does help. Mm. I can imagine. Now, I know <coughs> that, you know, what, when it comes to the festive season, the elderly are particularly, they feel it a lot because sometimes families forget about them. Mm. And now with the pandemic, you want to protect them, but that also means you won't be able to see them. So what, what would you say, how can a family make the elderly, their grandparents feel included, or for those who don't necessarily have family close by, mm. how can they stay positive and not feel the loneliness this year? Sure. We want to make our grandparents smile. Mm. So a lovely phone call uh, to connect with them. Again, using the video chats, getting the grandchildren and the parents to speak together. And, and maybe just checking up on them if they're not together. Mm. Um, having a lovely gift to deliver to them, just to make them feel acknowledged and supported mm. and um, loved. That is what we want to all experience. Mm. So that will really help where we just connect regularly with um, our loved ones that are not with us, especially the old. Oh, yes. Mm. yes. And also just to touch on that, I think we also need to place um, importance in the fact that you don't have to spend money during the festive season. I think it's just the spirit of togetherness and the spirit of feeling like, I don't want to say not alone because there's nothing wrong with being alone, but um, you do also need to interrogate that feeling of loneliness, which is kind of two separate things, right? But on the other end of the spectrum, there are people who have all the resources in the world to go home or they have the option to go home or they live in the same city as their families, but they don't feel like they are pieces at home. Oh. Do you feel as though they have to, they are forced to go home to spend Christmas with their families? Because if you think about it, whenever we think about these, these decisions, we think about how it will make our mm. family feel or how mm. parents feel, grandparents, if I choose that, you know what, guys, my peace of mind is my priority and I can't find it there, therefore I'm not going home. Do you feel like they need to go home? 
I feel that they need to make decisions where they're going to feel rejuvenated and energized. So if that encounter is not going to make them feel that, I think it's important to set that boundary mm. and to be honest and speak up about it. Just like we need to be honest in the way who we want to engage with, we also need to be honest about our loneliness. Because loneliness comes with the feeling of shame and, and a bit of self-criticism. Yeah. So we need to just be honest about it and say, I'm really feeling lonely. And that will raise the compassion and empathy from others to reach out and support those. Mm. Um, so let's just make decisions that really, really serve us, that mm. make us happy. And yeah, resonate with who, because it's at, at the end of the day, it's that energy blend. When we connect with someone, we are connecting with the energy. And the energy of someone can deplete you mm. or energize you or re rejuvenate you. And now more than ever, we are needing to feel rejuvenated mm. and rested. I think the additional stresses of COVID has just um, added to this, this, this whole energy of depletion. Mm. People are feeling very, very tired mm. and exhausted during this time, especially this year because of the additional stresses. So rest is going to be so good for many of us. Mm. I can imagine. So for someone watching right now and they are feeling lonely, is it really as simple as just reaching out to someone saying, I'm feeling lonely right now? Or do you have like a, a couple of ways for them to make it a bit easier? Because it's, it's sometimes one of those things where it's easier said than done. Sure. And it's not an easy process at all. I think acknowledging it firstly and being honest is important and reaching out to ones um, close by, your neighbours, creating a sense of community with others. Mm. Um, and, and reach out to um, organizations mm. that are online, that are, are really, there's lots happening to help people um, and engage in networks where you are not alone in your loneliness mm. and that alone can be reassuring. Mm. Um, and of course, going out, connecting with nature, self-care is important, like I said, it's just, let's amplify that and rest is part of that. Yeah. But it's not an easy process and not a quick fix because remember, it doesn't just pop up over Christmas, it's been prolonged. Mm. I need to watch that problem. Do you, do you feel like getting a pet is maybe a solution to like, <laughs> introduce a little cat or a bunny rabbit into your life? <laughs> yes, again, remember, a pet is energy. Whether it's a human or whether it's a pet, it's energy. And, and that engagement, if that pet's going to rejuvenate you, wonderful. Why not? Thing. I love that you <laughs> asked that question because I was actually going to ask what can people do actively not to avoid their loneliness but to kind of open themselves up to yes. other things like visiting an old age home during Christmas, yes. for example, you know, or just buy yourself a cat like <laughs> Zoe. I adopted yeah. my cat at the start of lockdown because exactly. I live by myself. And she's my companion. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you so me. much. Thank well, you so much, Asha right. Dula, for coming through. Yes, well, you can reach out to Asha. Her information's on the screen right now. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our Facebook page. You can pop them there. And the next time Asha's in studio, she can answer them.